Wait one second, make sure I'm recording. I should be recording now. Okay, hello and welcome back to Minecraft Jungle Paradise Golden Age, episode 737 we're on now. I think that's what we're on. But hopefully you are all doing okay today and staying safe. So, last episode, we worked on our deep underground lush caves. And we finally finished off the area that we had been mining for a while. And it turned out quite nice, I would definitely say. And in today's episode, we have a special mission for today's episode, I tell you. Special, special mission. That is, to break all of this hallway. Totally, you know, dismantle it. It does not exist no more. That also includes this room. Uh, let's see. Part of the original lush caves, I tell you, is this area. Sorry, I'm not doing a very good job of explaining it now. So, the Mother's Day project is what we're currently standing in, right? The Mother's Day project is a project that I built for Mother's Day. And I've recently just planted all of these oak tree saplings in here before I work on my oak. Well, not oak tree farm, but, you know, my uh, tree farm. I'm planning all of these there. But, let me just, you know what, it's not very good to explain it now. I tell you, I was doing perfectly fine explaining it before and then, you know, it just keeps, you know, breaking because I, I keep focusing on this and then, hard to speak when you focus on something there. Eh? Okay, so, in today's episode we're going to be moving this staircase to somewhere else and hopefully, it will turn out all okay. Now the idea is maybe to actually mine out all of this slowing. Or maybe just make the slowing, you know, that height there. So. I will make two markers. Two different heights. And this is this height. Yep. Okay. These two markers both mark where this room and that room is and all that. But in today's episode we're going to be tearing all of this down as I want to move the entrance to maybe somewhere over here. Uh, and that will help us in the future when I want to... Hmm. You know what, I might actually break down this entire wall. Eh? I think that might be a good idea. Break it all down and make it, you know, like an area over here. But then... Hmm. I tell you, sometimes my ideas, you know, maybe work and maybe not. That means opening up all of that area over there. Would it look nice? I don't really know. Not 100% on it. Though the roof could use improvement, I tell you, around here. The roof really needs some improvements. But we'll get to that another time. So I think we might actually do that idea, but we're not going to focus on that today. As I feel like it would be too you know, singing for my backpack to do two major builds because that would take a quarter of the time that the other one took. Uh, let's see. So... How did I not know this was back here? How did I not know this was back here? That is complicated. That, uh. That really just slips everything on its head. Or does it? Because if I was to mine out all of this over here, I could create a lot of stairs here. What's the stairs made out of around here? Wood. Oak wood, to be more exact. Okay. I know it was a blessing in disguise, disguise when I saw, you know, the stairs here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that should work. Break all of that. Yeah, this is how this is actually going to work now. I didn't realize how close this build was to this build. At all. Uh, we really need to work on this build again, I tell you. This build was supposed to have a big gate and all that. It's it's supposed to be quite a large build. Should really, uh, you know, work on this again. That's actually where that... Ah, I forgot all about that. 
We were told about that, that's where that uh, build comes from. The Mother's Day project goes up there, and then that's where this comes out of. So up there is the build that we should be building up to. But we don't really need to do that. We just need to connect this up with this floor up here. And that should save us some time. At least I get some iron out of it. Though the entrance could look a little bit nicer though. Entrance could look a little bit nicer. There's really nothing that I can actually do about this, you know, thing just happening out of nowhere. I just did not realize how uh, close different bits of my bulbs were, I tell you. Uh, let's see, so we'll, uh, I don't have, uh, there we go, polished andersite. Yeah, that should work. That should work out a bit better there, so we'll mine out all of that. And we should be able to continue with the Mother Day project from this bit. I guess this, you know, now counts this as Mother Day project now. I would say it's probably one of my largest mine outs. Like half and half, I would say. It was a ravine before, but you know, certain stuff changed. And I do still want to work on this place. I just don't have any ideas for it now. I said that the last time, but you know, maybe I might think of something. Maybe I might think of something, I tell you. Hmm. Right, we have a staircase. Just, uh... So if I was to go with my stone bricks stairs, well not stone brick, but stone... Uh, no, stone brick stairs, my, my stone brick. Place that there, grab this. Place that there. And there we go. Kinda a little bit of a better entrance, right? I could possibly just connect up with that entrance over there. No, no, we can't because this is a dance. Oh wait. Actually, it is quite close to the downstairs, so. I could have just, you know, expanded along that way. Instead of actually building here, I could have just built a staircase over that way. How far is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 blocks that way. So that's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That should be the corner. Yeah. Yeah. I could try and fit this all together. I could try and fit this all together. Problem is, uh, slowing around here is quite thin. So that's really a big problem that we have around here. But I could... If I had the materials, I do have a little bit of the materials, but I could give you the idea. Uh, let's see. I'm actually connecting this up with the other part. About maybe here. Or maybe we'll separate it there. There's really nothing too much behind these walls, really. I wanted to clear up some of the other bits of this uh, Mother Stay project. A lot of mistakes were made during it, but we could, uh, you know, fix all of that quite easily. Ah, uh, we just need one more block up. Yeah. There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. And I guess I might as well uh, put like some polished. Andersite there. Hmm. I was thinking of maybe water coming down this way. I could make it, you know, seem like, you know, it went under. That could be pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. You know what? We're just totally went off track and started this new thing. I should have just started with uh, filling in that entire room up there and all that. First. Before starting this build project. I did not expect how close different builds, you know, my world were. 
when you dig underground for a long time, you start to get like a good idea of where different stuff are. I did not think it was right behind the wall by one block. I never did actually mine behind that wall, did I? Uh, the only time that I've ever mined behind that wall was that. But that's all covered by stone behind it, so you know, you would never really think it. The stuff that you discover when you've been playing a world for, you know, so long. So long, I tell you. There we go. Who knows, maybe I want to open up this uh, wall over here. Huh? I think it might be a good idea. But probably keep it like a... Uh, kind of like a little stone wall that went along this wall. Yeah, kind of like with the andesite going there now. Kind of just open it all up. I think that could look quite nice. I think it could look quite nice. You know, we're just going and revamping so many different areas these days. <laughs> like, this area is quite old. It needs, you know, work at some point. It was built for Mother's Day. It shall not be left in this, you know, condition. There we go. So that does not really make sense there no more, does it? I don't actually really need that there because it's really... There's some on that side, but, you know, really, it's not really necessary. Not really necessary for what we're creating here now. Yeah, you kind of get the idea of what we're going with here. We'll have a little stair bit over this way. It'll look a little bit odd at first, but, you know, with work, it shall look a lot nicer. It won't be going off in this direction the whole way up. Plan on curving it. Curving it in a different direction. What shall we put down here? I don't know. That's the thing, right? I need to work on functionality. Why do I need this? Is it just for looks or, you know, does it actually have a purpose? That is something that I need to work on. There's actually an area nearby that specifically needs that you know, work. Also, three stacks of iron starting now. Uh, that's how much iron we've gotten in like the last, you know, few episodes. Is three stacks. Pretty good, I would definitely say. Pretty good indeed. Yeah, okay. Start mining out all of this over here. That to be, you know, dirt. Unless I do want to either make it a little bit, you know, longer. If you know what I mean, like break this and then place that there. Kind of just, you know, dragging it out a little. Like I could just turn this little bit of uh, land into like water. But then this bit over here would have to be a lot larger to match up with the other one. It would have to be one over there, but then I don't really want that. For now. Hmm. Trying to figure out, you know, the specifics. Eh. Gravel. I shall take that later. Gravel is all mine. All mine the gravel shall be. All gravel belongs to me. You know what that reminded me of? Bluemen and Redmen. I think that's their names. You know the ones from TF2 that fight over the gravel, the gravel wars and all that? Those. I always loved the Halloween event when you had to push them. I always look so forward to that. Because they just, you know, ran at each other and it's funny. Uh, good times, good times. Sadly, I've never been able to catch a Halloween event in years in TF2. Quite sad. Quite sad indeed. Maybe one day. One day in the future, I tell you, I shall catch one. Hmm. 
A little bit of nuts for now. It's really bugging me. Start breaking the ceiling out. A lot of stupid granite up here, I tell you. There is so much granite around here that, you know, it's really bothering me. I need to fill it all in with stone. That's something that we might do on, like, a stream or something. Let's go around my base and fix a lot of the blocks that we do not really want in the ceiling. I think that's what we'll do. I plan on doing, like, a fishing stream soon as well, but, you know. A stream, you know, just going around fixing stuff like that could be quite fun. Uh, let's see. Break all of that. You know, the leaves weren't too bad of an idea, but I never really, you know, too liked uh, the spruce leaves over there. It was very hard to get jungle leaves back, back in the day, I tell you. Jungle leaves were a very hard thing to get. Don't know why. Kind of reminds me of ink. For some reason, ink sacks. That's another thing that we cannot get into my world no more. You know, it feels like I'm playing a uh, flat. The flat world. You know, when you're limited not to have certain stuff. That's something I would love to do. I would love to play from like the very, you know beginnings of a flat world, like the early days, and then work my way up for different updates. I think that's what I would love to do one day. For the hardcore version, maybe. Maybe just a survival, who knows. Just all the slimes. All their slime sounds it would really bug me. Holy moly! What did I just find? A cave? Just standing. Well, not standing, but you know, just sitting here. A cave. I know you just wandered. Let me put on my moon boots so we can get out. Oh we! That's a lot of iron. Yeah, this is part of the Mother's Day project. I knew I recognized it somewhere. Just so you know, there is a thingy nearby. Oh god. So watch we don't anger it. I'm just collecting all this iron that I see around here. Might as well. That's actually a blue one! Diamonds! Diamonds! Not the diamond store. Oh, gravel. That was very useful. 25 iron. Should have really let up these caves a bit better. Hello there, zombie. I could not hit that guy there for some reason. To kill him. Get him out of the way. And shove that there. Oh, gold! Very useful. Very useful indeed. Ah, that's where I put my other uh, pickaxe. I don't know if I broke my pickaxe or... Hmm. I didn't realize it might have broken. I think it might have. Or I just used it all up and then put it in the backpack by accident. Gold can go there. I can go there. 
string can go in my backpack. That is right. Lapis can also go up there. Chest transporter. Not too much uh, room left in their backpack now. Hmm. Yeah, there's not too much room left in their backpack. I love just, you know, zooming around. No diamonds. What's that? I almost landed in another lava pit. A lot of coal are. I don't really need coal, just so you know, I don't really need coal. I just accidentally collect it a lot of the time, and sometimes I just mine it anyway, I don't really care. I have too much coal. I'll figure out something in the future, like a mod might need some of uh, a lot of coal in the future, so you know what, that'd help out. Scotch of that there. Redstone, more iron. More permafrost. More coal. Yeah, I don't really see any more that I need to mine. Yeah. I knew it. I knew there would be a few here. Yep. Just a few. That can go in the backpack. That can go there. More iron right here. Not too bad. I just love, you know, just jumping around like with moon boots. It's kind of overpowered our moon boots, that's why I don't really use them that often. Plus they're very hard to actually make. They're very expensive to actually make. That's why uh, I try not to use them too often. There we go. So I was, you know, got to be in trouble there a little bit. I'll get to that gold in a second. So there was iron there. There is iron over there. So much iron, I tell you. So much iron. That's very iron that I have on me now. I'm on my fourth stack of iron. I tell you, sometimes, you know, it's a bit overpowered, these mines that I have. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't even... This is all vanilla generation as well. This is all vanilla generation, still. It acts so weird. Also, just so you know, you can have my seat. That's the seat of the world. 1.12.2 it is. There we go. I'll uh, take that. There's always the second one. There's always the third one. There's one right there. So that was something there. Well, I do see some uh, gold over here. Need all the gold I can get these days, that's why I'm gathering up so much gold. I love just going mining like this. You know, just zooming around. We have a tad little bit of speed boost, but it's not really that much. Just uh, jumping is more the effective thing. Oh wait, I'll just take that anyway. We can put it in the backpack with the rest of the fossil that I have. I'm also on my next stack of coal. You can see it's very overpowered to go down into my mines. My mines are so good that no person will ever leave the mine. There we go. There we 
go. Not too bad. I love just going around and collecting permafrost, gold, and all that. I thought there might be some more there. Wait one second. There we go. 21 fossils right there. I tell you, sometimes it's just over overpowered. I could go down here with my uh, goggles. Well, not goggles, but you know. I'll just say it's a term. The goggles that, you know, tell me where a lot of the ores are. Not very good when you're down in the ground trying to find diamonds, though. I just find so much coal. Just so much coal. It's trying to stop me from getting to this. that. Where am I? Where am I? I see my wood here. I see some kind of wood. Hmm. I don't genuinely know where we are. Ah, we're in the slow. I remember, I remember, I remember. Wait in the slow. There we go. I remember now. I truly remember now where this is located. We're currently under. I guess we'll have to get out of here soon. Might lose my mind with mining so much iron. <laughs> uh, that's almost four stacks of iron right there. That's gonna take me forever to smelt through. There, we got another one. All good, all good. There we go. And some coal over there. Let's just get out of here. Take these uh, ridiculous boots off. There we go. That's why they're nicknamed the Moon Boots. I nicknamed them after so long. They're actually called Cloud Boots. It's a very interesting mod, you just need uh, feathers and gold and all that to make the feathers, to, you know, actually work it. But I do think we're out of time for today's episode. I spent, you know, mining. You know me, I always get sidetracked when I go mining. <laughs> uh, but that was a quite good mine, I tell you. That was a quite good mine. Look at all that resources that we got. I had to do quite well for some builds that I have planned in the future. Put a bone up there. I didn't collect any arrows. What's that? Okay. Well, hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. We didn't get too much done, but you know, we have a lot of work, a lot of work to do next episode. So have a nice day, safe. Hope this helpful. Maybe some more interesting developments. Very important. And bye, bye. See you next time. Have a nice day, safe. Bye. -bye.